Chainlink CCIP versus Quant over Ledger for the web free community. Quant Army, if this is something that you're interested in, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the videos with your friends and family, tune into the live streams as well, and become a channel member. This is from Rashid Ajaja. Chainlink CCIP. What is Chainlink CCIP and how does it compete or how how uh, is it different? to quant overledger so nerd nature steep pad uh, steeped in decentralized principles functionality allows arbitrary messaging token transfers and programmable token transfers across chains eliminating the barriers between various blockchain ecosystem security built with a robust risk management network it employs decentralized oracle computation with verifiable on-chain performance histories and the off-chain reporting protocol Applications suited for sectors like DeFi and other web-free applications, CCIP's decentralized architecture embraces the ethos of trustless, permissionless innovation. Very interesting from Chainlink, right? And then we have Quant's Overledger, Nature, Framework for Broader Interoperability, Con uh, Functionality connects apps to multiple ledgers, ending the challenge of single ledger dependence. Its ability to offer seamless intercommunication both with other networks and internally sets it apart. Security, designed with regulated and institutional entities in mind, it provides a control setting essential for businesses wary of decentralized black boxes. Application, banks, financial institutions and businesses can leverage Overledger for its centralized communication efficiency and regulatory alignment. The convergence, while CCIP and Overledger have distinct approaches, both have their rightful place in the blockchain ecosystem. Their functionalities are not mutually exclusive, instead, they can complement each other, catering to different web free paradigms and use cases. Okay, so. Quant uh, versus Chainlink, CCIP, Quant's Overledger, both of them have their own special, unique side to them. Uh, but for me, man, <laughs> no, hey, no disrespect to Chainlink. I know that's one of those projects that's been around in this space. There's a ton of people that hold Chainlink um, and uh, see Chainlink. You know, long term, Chainlink is going to be an oracle that everyone more than likely uses. Uh, but for me, when it comes to quant, <laughs> I'm more interested in the banks, financial institution, businesses leveraging the over uh, the overledger in centralized communication. Man, like that is gonna be big for what is eventually gonna happen to the financial system as we know it. So Alliance blocks insights for Chainlink's CCIP and a quant's overledger. In the DeFi space, CCIP is a big win. We're using it to strengthen our teleport protocol, interesting, which is central to our bridge, a bridge is which is much better with more validators, and that's what CCIP brings to the table. A vast network of validators with strong security with this robust setup. Our Nexera, Nexera exchange. Oh, so this is um the Alliance Block team. Let me see here. CEO and founder of Alliance Block, okay. Interesting. So Rashida Ja, I never knew this. I'm learn. You learn something new every every day. So the CEO of Alliance Block is gonna be interoperating the interoperability of Quant. Man, he's gonna be using the overledger of Quant, and you know, into their Alliance Block system. I know a lot of people uh, know about Alliance Block. That's another one of those projects that a lot of people uh, find massively bullish and have it in their portfolio. So they're going to be using Chainlink CCIP and Quant's Overledger. That is massive. That is so awesome, man. Can tackle tasks like cross-chain swap limit orders and decentralized computations without a hitch. On the institutional side, things need to be clear and compliant. That's where Overledger steps in. We're plugging into our tokenization process tailored for business deals. With its centralized approach, Overledger offers a structured environment that many institutions are familiar with. What really is gonna move money in the space for these next cycles? We see with the ETFs from BlackRock and all of these big banks, 
right? Institutions are finally stepping into the space. And Quant, <laughs> catering to the institutions, could see massive adoption from institutions, the massive institutions, right? That would be crazy for Quant, man, uh, just for the development, development of the project overall and for the price action. This makes integration processes smoother and more efficient. Big institutions require straightforward tech solutions and Quant fits that bill perfectly. This is the CEO of Alliance Block. <laughs> this is the CEO of Alliance Block saying just how fundamental Overledger is to institutions, right? Big institutions. This is crazy, man. Bridging the gap between traditional systems and cutting edge blockchain innovations, Overledger will also be leveraged for inst our institutional bridge, institutional version of our teleport cross messaging protocol. This can be used for bank consortium, for example, interbank cross chain trading, etc. So, trading between different banks as well, man. Embracing collaboration over rivalry is the key to the industry's our industry's growth together we thrive no mercy oh man awesome stuff man and that deserves a like and retweet from me so again alliance block ceo using the chainlink ccip and the quant overledger and saying hey both of these protocols together could be could not could will lead to amazing growth for our industry crypto overall man and that is massive. You got the CEO here of Alliance, but I, I know a lot of people, you know, last cycle going into this cycle as well, people in my live stream, uh, when uh, uh, Alliance Block uh, trans, uh, I think they migrated or made a, you know, moved over to a new contract and everything like that. And a lot of people still hold this project and see this project as a massive project in the future. And the CEO, the founder of said project, is showing, hey, the Quant Overledger Network is very crucial to crypto. It's very crucial for us and our industry. It's very crucial for getting big institutions to um, find some type of similarities to the TradFi markets in our market man like it's man that's so insane <laughs> that is so bullish <laughs> that is so bullish man i gotta read it one more time look look at this big institutions require straightforward tech solutions and quant fits that bill perfectly bridging the gap between traditional systems and cutting edge blockchain innovations that is massive from Kyron, blockchain has evolved from magic internet money. Look how each of these projects have proved true utility of blockchain in their own way. So right here, after HBAR shows us enterprise pub L1s done right, XRP shows us utility tokens for banking, Quant shows us blockchain with other tech. Interoperability uh, technology is going to be absolutely massive, Quant Army. And I'm telling you, you won't want to miss out on the quant, man. You won't want to miss out on quant. Lord Quantonian, Nirvana of the global single liquidity pool. Let's take a look, man. So news release. The Bank of England has published policy regarding omnibus accounts. A new, new type of account available as part of real-time growth settlement service. Interesting. Here at Finality International, this is a hugely exciting and much anticipated development in our ongoing objective to create a global market, a uh, global network of distributed wholesale payment systems. System operator to access the bank's RTGS real time growth settlement system in a way that has not been possible before. It is the start of the journey towards the nirvana of a global single pool of liquidity. And I know these banks, the BIS, from what we've seen, guys, is going to be using Quant technology. And to close out the video from Dagnum PI, Quant gateways and DAG service serve distinct roles in the blockchain ecosystem. Quant Network functions as a multi-chain gateway orchestrator, facilitating interactions among various DLTs without replacing them. 
It acts as a unified inner uh, face, bridging different chains, each designed for a specific purpose. In my opinion, man. That purpose, <laughs> the overledger, the big institution, the institutional money, they're gonna love Quan. <laughs> they are gonna love Quan. And that's why I think Quan is gonna be even more massive than it, than it is now. Like, the, we're gonna see crypto assets get into, um, you know, those type of levels of the Amazons and the Apples of the world. And you're gonna have to. It's better to pick the long term, the long, like years from now, those type of winners. It's better to pick those type of winners, man, because it's going to get crazy when this technology just continues to become second nature to us uh, as we move from the, we move away from the previous TradFi systems, right? So DAG, on the other hand, specializes in cross-chain data interoperability and hetero uh, Jenny, uh, Jenny estate validation offering data normalization capabilities at Quant lacks. Quant lacks. Interesting. Quant streamlines the communication between diverse blockchains while DAG ensures seamless data exchange and validation across these networks. Interesting. Okay. Both technologies are complementary, playing pivotal roles in achieving internet scale value transmission and connect work, connecting networks of networks. Each offers unique solutions contributing to the broader objective of enhanced interoperability and integration in the blockchain space. Nice stuff, man. A little thread, a little write-up between DAG and Quan and what makes them unique and special, just like we checked out with uh, uh, Quan's Overledger compared to Chainlink's CCIP. That was from Dagnum PI. Quan Army, let me get your thoughts down below. Uh, what do you guys think of uh, the comparison here? Both protocols, again, I'm not going to be hating on any project, especially a chain link that's been, you know, time tested and proven itself, right? Um, there's always great projects out there. It's just for you to find your winners and have conviction on that, right? My winner? <laughs> Quat. <laughs> One of my winners is going to be Quat, man. Let me get your thoughts down below. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Share the videos with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, Quiet Army.